been a while, man. I haven't seen you around very much. How I know. you doing, Marvin? Well, I just got back from scout camp. Sounds pretty fun. I actually just recently got out of prison. Fun. Yeah, it's pretty crazy back in the cage. I met one guy, and he was a hunchback. He looked pretty messed up, man. It was like his back decided to become a mountain, man. Cool. His name was Felix. You want to know why he was in the can? Sure. One day, he was looking for something to eat, and he felt real hungry. And so he went upstairs, and uh, he went next door, and he went into his neighbor's bedroom, and they weren't there. So they weren't in the bedroom. So what he did was he went downstairs to the basement and they weren't there either. And he went to the living room and they weren't there either. But then they were there. And you know what he did? You know what he did to those people? What? He took them out for a nice dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice, right? But then, but then you know what the dinner was? It was lamb chops, and it was real nice. <laughs> and so the lamb chop was real nice, very expensive. He paid for the meal and everything. And then they let him stay at their house for the night because he didn't have a place to stay. And you know what he did at night? He slept, and it was very nice, and he had a bunch of very nice dreams. And then in the morning, he got up. When after he stayed there overnight, he ate breakfast with them. And you know what breakfast was? It was pancakes and waffles, and it was beautiful. And he stayed there for a long, long time. And one day, they find out that the wife is gonna have a baby. And nine months later, she has a baby, and it's, it's a beautiful baby boy. And he's there, and he witnesses the birth, and they take the baby home. And then, when they took that baby home, you know, you know what he did to that baby? He changed his diaper. He raised that baby with the family like it was his own son. Uh, and he was, it was beautiful. And they had, over the years, he lived with them and they had three more children. And he raised them, he helped raise them all. He was such a loving father. But when they turned 12, 3, 7, and 14, you know what he did? On each of their birthdays, he bought them birthday presents. Every every year, it was it's amazing. And the thing I don't understand is is one day, one day, the parents didn't come home. They didn't come home, and it was weird because it was on a day when when Felix he wasn't he was missing too and nobody knew where Felix went and then one day he, he comes in and after years of mastering the art of the oils he finished his greatest masterpiece Fleur de Lo and it was so brilliant this painting hung in billions of families homes all over the world in Europe and America and it's just so heartbreaking to think about all the lives that he affected. And when when he was in when he was in the war, the Great War, and he he, he, he it's just I can't I can't even it's just so heartbreaking to think about what he did he changed so many lives. This here's a ride! Hey! Throw down your weapons! You... Son, come here. Sit down and listen to my tale. I feel like it will bring you... It will bring you closure to your life. 
Dad? Come, come here. Years in the war, in the trenches, he fired at, at the opposing side, but he always felt wrong because, because, because these were just earthly things that they were against each other for, and it was just so sad, and no one deserved to die for these things, and he felt horrible, and that's why, that's why, sons, Felix, Felix created. I'm sorry, I just get so emotional when I think about it. It's okay, man. We all get emotional sometimes. Yes. Even me. Fuck you, my son. A robber. What he created was a trademark series of merchandise called a friendship friendly rubber bracelets. You guys don't even know the good that he's done. It's just, it's so much, so many things. He's done so much good. He's done for, for city people and people from the country and people living on the streets. It's just. It's true, Esse. Felix was my homie. I was hooked on the devil's cabbage since I was six years old. But, but Felix, he saved my life. I made so much more money without the devil's cabbage in my life. And he taught me discipline with the firearms. Yes, son. Come here. Come. I beckon you. Mm. Yes. Yes, homie. Oh. All right. Now, he's been at, he's been at war. I've told you about how he he created his bands and he created peace. But after all these many years. And after he lived his fame, he returned to his neighbor's children. And you know what he did to his neighbor's children? What did he say? He bought them all nachos. And they ate the nachos. And the nachos were so good. But the thing is, none of the story is true. And all he did was eat people all the time. And it's a horrible person. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, my son.